Hey guys and welcome back to the Coder's Legacy channel. In this video I'm going to show you guys a very handy way, a very shorthand way of defining and using thread locks in Python. Okay, so here's our code. All right, I already have most of it written down here. And we have our imports here, then we have our threads that we create, that we start them, then join them back into the main thread. And here we have our two functions which we'll, we'll be working on in this tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to first start off by using threads this way we always do, okay, with the acquire and release calls. All right, so I have defined them both here, and in between this, we're going to perform some kind of operation on our shared resource, okay? So I'm going to copy paste this into function two. All right, so this is a very standard way of using locks. You call the acquire method, you perform some kind of operation, and then you finally release the lock, okay? I'm sure you guys are already familiar with this. Now, there's actually an easier way of doing so using the with statement. Some of you may have actually used this statement before. It's very commonly used with file handling in Python. Okay, let me just try and jog your memories. So normally in file handling, what you do is something like this, right? Example.txt, and then you write a file mode here, and then you do file.close, right? But there's actually a different way of doing so, which involves, which, you know, allows you to skip that file.close step. You can just do this, right? And then you can do whatever you want to in here. Something like that, all right? Uh, so that's basically the same thing that we're going to do with our function over here, all right? With our locks. So what we're going to do is actually completely remove all this. All right, actually just remove these. Then I'm going to do with lock. Okay, and just so that we have something in here, I'm going to do time.sleep. Otherwise, I'll get a Python, a Python error. Okay, and I'll copy paste this down here. And there, that's it. That's actually all we had to do. No acquire call, no release call. This is it. This is it. This is all you had to do. So th the thing is that with this with the statement here is actually what we call a context manager, which means that it automatically manages, you know, the opening and the closing. It automatically manages this resource. And that's why with files, we don't have to, uh, you know, we don't have to call the file.close command because it automatically manages the, you know, the resource. Okay. Now, obviously, this doesn't work with all types of classes, uh, by which I mean general Python classes, all right, and other libraries. Only those classes that come with a resource uh, manager, basically only those that actually support this feature can be used with the with statement. And uh, the file, you know, the file handling in Python does support it. And the thread class in Python also supports it and the lock class. So that's why this actually works, okay? So don't try using this with everything. Uh, only use it with those that you know, uh, you know, it's actually supported by. So this is all there was to it. Now, I'm just gonna show you this code. Uh, you know, I'll execute it in front of you guys, just so that you guys can see for sure that it's all working as expected, okay? So I'll say here, thread one is acquiring thread, sorry, it's a, is acquiring lock. I'll copy paste this down here as well. Thread two is acquiring lock. Okay, then over here I'll say thread one has acquired lock. Okay, thread two has acquired lock. Now I know some of you may feel a bit weird. You can't see, uh, you know, a release statement anywhere. So you might be wondering, is, is this really gonna work? Well, don't worry, it will. Third one has released lock. And gonna copy paste this down here. And thread two has released lock. Now I'm gonna run this code. Let's see what happens. All right, thread one is acquiring lock. Thread two is acquiring lock. Thread one got the lock first. 
then thread one release the lock, then thread two acquire the lock, then thread two release the lock. And that's the correct output. And you can notice here that the output is getting a bit skewed. And for that, I actually have this handy print statement override over here. You guys can use this too. It basically makes sure that your output is always correct. Okay, so let's take a look at the output again. Okay, so let's go through this line by line. First, thread one is attempting to acquire the lock. Okay, and it acquires the, the lock immediately because no one else is using the lock. Or here we see that thread two is attempting to acquire the lock, but it cannot. Okay, because the statement thread two has acquired the lock only comes after thread one has released the lock, which is after three seconds because of this command. Okay, and then once thread two acquired the lock, it then released the lock. All right, so that's all I wanted to tell you guys. It's a pretty handy way of, you know, using threads and using locks with them. And you guys will surely find this useful. Subscribe to the channel for more interesting content like this. And we'll have a lot more content on threads and locks and all kinds of other interesting Python libraries for you to see. All right, see you guys in a later video.